Okay. So, um, it, uh, remember I, when I, like I had mentioned, um, jo- the game night, JoJo told me, like, to take it slow with her. And, um, for the first time, I actually found myself asking a woman, is it okay if I touch you? You know, is it okay if I hold you? Is it okay if I kiss you, even if it's just on the cheek? You know, I found myself actually really being conscious of consent. So, um, as we were starting the relationship, we kind of both came to the uh, decision, like, let's wait. Let's not just jump into it. And I was like, yeah, totally, I'm with it. I had never said those words before in my life. I mean, and if I did, I was just always like, that's what you think. And then, you know, I just turn and get whatever I want when I want it, you know. And um, that's not a way to think. That is not a way to do it. Oh, my gosh. It never clicked in that that's not you, what I should do. Um, so, um, I would say, like, sex is very important. Uh, but it's not like a do all or don't, you know. Um, you know, when we, after we first started, you know, after our first time. Uh <laughs> It was just like a whole like, oh my gosh, yes, more, more, you know. Oh, Lord. And we started to calm down and like 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 there's now there's like there's more there's more to intimacy than sex, you know. There's we have girl talk, you know. Sometimes <laughs> we have these therapy sessions where I act like I'm a therapist, you know, I put on glasses, I put on a whole different voice, I put on my notepad, I'm like, Okay, what's going on? Let's talk through this stuff <laughs> You know, and <laughs> And um, there's sometimes we just sit and read. Sometimes we just cuddle. A lot of times backstage we'll do this. Mm -hmm. Like where we like just put our hands close and like not touch. And that's a form of intimacy. And um, but the sex is kind of good because it's like, like she wants to please me so much. You know how hard it is to find like a a woman who's not identified as a stud or a stem that actually is like what can I do to please you it's like I think I just came oh my god (sighs) but uh (laughs) but uh it was it's (laughs) that's all I'm gonna say uh, can you please, Kim, start talking? Okay. Please start talking. Yeah, it was on the 3rd of June 2017. I get you what in the other slow. Where we go on the first day? At home. Oh, oh, that of June 2017. Yeah. Ooh. So, how it happened was um, I was injured. So, I was out on injury. I was in crutches, even. Imagine. But when it comes to tough, tough, hey, the crutches <laughs> are there. <laughs> anyway, so I was like injured and I was out for so they went to go play a match it and I was sick be. and I was sick as well. So she brought me medication, right? I uh, had flu. Had flu. Yeah, had flu. yeah. She, she brought me medication and then she went back to her hostel. She used my card. Um, in the hostel you have to swipe. So I gave her my card. So cause I can't walk now, you have to go up and down and bring me stuff. So you're not allowed to do that after hours, but she came in after hours. So, and then I, I called you, ne? Mm, then I, I called, I, she was sleepy and I called her. And then I don't know what I said. She was like, what of it? I was like, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, okay, never mind. And then I hung up. Then I slept. I was, I and then tired. I called her. <laughs> she called me again with private number this time around. <laughs> I was like, hello. That was before we dated. <laughs> Yeah, we actually did the things before, before we dated. dated. So, so I, you know, it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> easy asking for the banana when you guys are not dating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she was like, uh, "I need some that." I, think I she, said I want my card back. Yeah. I was like, "Please bring me my card back." And, and I'm just there I'm wondering, wondering <laughs> why does she want her card? Cause she's not gonna use it. She can't walk. So she just put two and two like. Probably wants me. Let me go there. <laughs> Quickly changed, and you know what? I went straight to a hostel. And when I got there, hey, she talks a lot. We were talking, talking, talking until. I feel like you didn't enjoy. You didn't enjoy what? You didn't enjoy me talking. Oh. I don't like you talking to other people. 
because they're gonna fall in love like i'm saying don't act like you didn't enjoy when we were oh talking. yeah no i just <laughs> oh. so we were just there talking 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 and she was like you know what i want to sleep and i'm just there so <laughs> why would she want to sleep while i'm here <laughs> so she 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 went to bed i scooped over and then did not I jumped in, you know. The rest is history. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> and we slept. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then that slept. was our first time. It was really nice for me. Because I always <clears> wanted <throat> to, you know. To sleep. We'll just end it here. <laughs> just wanted to sleep. Yeah, I just wanted to yeah. sleep. <laughs> like, I've been sleeping. <laughs> Sexual relationship. How is it? <laughs> I mean, um, well, it sucks for me in a way that I always expect that build up, like, from the mood, like, during the day, like, because as I was saying that he would come and poke your fight about something, and then two minutes later, he has moved on from that situation, and I'm still angry. And then now you want us to have sex. Like, how? <laughs> <laughs> we're not done about what we are talking about earlier on. So for me, that's the part that sucks the most. Because I always felt like we need to build that moment like, from in the morning. Like, think about it. Like, put in some work in it. Like, during the day, before it can help him. When we hear him, let's just, let's just jump into it. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, no! Make sure you that don't. Wait, like you make don't. sure that during the day, there's no fight, there's no argument, like the, like everything is just perfect. Then it can be <laughs> come out of nowhere. But we can't be fighting like in the morning. Then <laughs> later on, I'm still angry. And then now you want to. It, it doesn't work for me. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Like, like, it has gone like the first, better. yeah, the first time it was a bit uncomfortable, especially for her. But as time goes by, you, I, she'll show you. This one is weak. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> She's, but yeah, no, the first time I exper- experienced the Victoria Falls, I don't know, <laughs> and August <laughs> was with her actually. Like there was literally, I was like, what is that? What is this? Do it again. (laughs) (laughs) The metaphor happy, you know, like, (laughs) what? So yeah, ever since then it has gotten better because I'm very vocal. I wouldn't keep quiet if you're going to do something wrong. I'll be like, this is what I want if I want it a certain way. But she just knows how to press the right buttons. When coming to that, it's probably one of the the boss. One percent that I had to tell you something. Yeah, yeah. but otherwise, I'll give you that shame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that guy. I'm always like, okay, <laughs> um, let's get it on. But I mean, I, I often feel honestly that he's he's always like on this whimsical space of caress me. He usher me to air. Let's let's just walk through it and all of that. And I'm like, yes. And it can't always be like that. Every day, um, you know. No, I'm like, yay. But yeah, I mean, but all together we, I mean, apart from, apart from that, but I think we have a pretty cool, um, intimate life. It's born. <laughs> Okay, I'll start with myself. Let me um, explain my relationship with intimacy. I am not a touchy person. Um, yeah, I think it, it in general makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> can you touch me? <laughs> See, there's space. There's space between us. The holy space. <laughs> um, <laughs> and... For me, yeah, it's. I think people on Twitter think I'm joking. I've, I often say like, um, uh, sex isn't 
the cornerstone of a relationship for me um, and it has never been so the that physical element of intimacy like yes it's nice and I I like it like when he's like fingers down my back but <laughs> generally I'm like uh, yeah whereas I know he it's something that he really loves and appreciates it's the utmost I don't know explain it wow <laughs> Explain what touch means to you. <laughs> oh, well, my journey is different because I have lived a hetero uh, lifestyle and um, um, and I have been intimate with uh, the opposite sex. But my introduction to intimacy, so I'm a survivor of sexual assault and I was assaulted when I was 14 years old. And so my introduction to intimacy is all what just all skewed there's a lot of trauma there and um so i yeah i'm not really my love language is not touch my love language is words of affirmation and so yeah i appreciate girl talk i appreciate you know reading us just lying here reading and or just staring at each other when we first wake up in the morning or uh playing chess and then call up playing games and stuff <laughs> like that i appreciate that stuff more so than the um the intimate, the sex, right? But it was from a lot of fear. Like I was afraid to be touched. I was afraid to be, you know, um, cuddled and hugged and, you know, all, all these things or whatever by men. And I still am, I still have my triggers or whatever. But I met, when, I, when we met and when we did decide to take it to the next level, yeah, she was so sensitive and she was so caring and so like, yeah, like, can I do this? Is it okay if I do this? And I wasn't used to that. And the first time she asked if she could do something, I cried. And it was mid-coital. We were, like, in the middle of the thing. And she asked me, can I do this thing? And I freaking cried. Because who does that? Like, who who does that? And and living this hetero life, I'm so, I was so used to just, just like, Feeling like, you know, I, it is my job to make sure that this man gets his, gets, gets his, and that's it, or whatever. And, and, and just so used to just laying there and just, and just taking it or whatever. And, uh, and it's just from a lot of trauma and the way that she took her time with me and the way that she was just soft with me and gentle with me. I, I did not even know that I, I liked for someone to be soft with me. You know, I thought that aggression uh, and force, forcefulness was the norm. That's what I thought was the norm. But she was so gentle and soft and sensitive to, with me. And I just wasn't used to it. So at first, I was just like, don't do that. You know, like, let's just, you know, do the thing and just boom or whatever. But no, she, in spite of, she, like, took her time with me or whatever. And I, I did like that we didn't rush into it, you know, because, again, with hetero with my hetero past relationships that's just what it was you know um and it wasn't satisfactory it, i never i never received pleasure or whatever it was always about pleasing the guy and hell yeah i don't want to please her i mean do you see her like and she's a giver why wouldn't i want to i i, I am crazy about pleasing this woman not just sexually but you know in every in any kind of intimate way or whatever um and so yeah, we've been talking about intimacy a lot because intimacy freaking I, terrifies me. But the 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 more we go on this journey together, like the less and less afraid of it I become. Look, I'm holding her, and we're holding hands. Like something so I don't I didn't do, used to do that, you know. And um, I have discovered my soft parts through our intimacy. I have discovered that I too have, I too can be soft. I too have, you know softness or whatever because of this woman and um yeah i think sex is important i i I'm, I'm i'm glad that i'm not afraid of it anymore and it did take a woman <laughs> for me to realize like sex is not a scary thing sex is not something that you block out um what for a certain amount of time for the sake of the other person like Sex is beautiful mm -hmm. and it's for both people. And for both of us. It's for both people. And I feel 
like we were talking about this, like we feel like there's a lot of straight women who don't really know pleasure because we're always geared to like, it's just for the guy or it's to make sure the guy get his, you know? Um, yeah, I think we sort of, I think almost sit, I think on the opposite edges. Um, I'm not sure whether it might be coming also with the love languages um, situation as well. Or you need to tell me that you love me like seven times a day. If you haven't told me, like you don't love me anymore. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that's an extreme example, I think. Um, but I think more of words of affirmation, just like, whereas he's more of acts of service to show you um, sort of a thing. So I think um, in, in the initial onset, it was just a little different, I think. Up until we go to a point, like, oh, probably whatever they're trying to say, you're doing it, but probably I'm not even saying it, what you're doing. Because you're not saying it. Um, I think over time, we just have found, I think, our own way in terms of, I think, really to be in each other's space and just like figure out, I think, the touching element, I think. Once I had learned that, oh, well, he just doesn't want to be touched. He just doesn't want people, I'm like, okay. Well, I don't now, want to be touched. <laughs> now we start here by home affairs. <laughs> what needs to happen? Um, but I think just getting comfortable in our own space, I think, and just figuring out, I think, um, to give up each other comfort enough that I think it's not necessarily that it's neglected, I think in the intimacy, regardless whether we mean like intimacy, like sex, sex, or we mean um, just to be in each other's um, space and mind and just touch and just like sit and do probably our own, what our own, probably um, TV or um, um, our favorite program on TV. Um, this now reminds me as well of like, um, oh, well, we have a rainbow blanket over us and um, our love language is we wake up at 3 a.m. and watch Game of Thrones. Uh, this is our love language between the two of us, but I think in terms of I think the elements, the day-to-day -day typical type of things, which I think they range in between two into closeness of intimacy or sex and um, the touch and just the talk and just doing things together, I think we just find in our own space what really works best. And, um, it's a journey as well, I think. I'm not sure whether we'll get it 100%, 100%, but at least I think a good enough element between the two of us that at least we make sure that he's not neglected in his love language and I'm not neglected in mine as well. Um, a little bit of a 50-50 give take and, and a compromise. Yeah. I think um, I think initially yeah, we were definitely missing each other in terms of what we view intimacy as um, and I think it was unsaid for a little bit until I get to a point where it's like, okay, let's sit down and discuss this. And we had to, and from then on, I think we started talking about trying to find ways to make sure that the other party doesn't feel like you're neglecting them. Um, which was different for me because, I, I mean, I think you know I love you. <laughs> like, best I say it. I mean, I'll show it. Please say it. But knowing that, um, or seeing what it, the smile it puts on his face, um, it made it worth like sort of noting to at least, I think in the initial stage, I had to remind myself to be like, did you tell me you love me this morning? No, you didn't. Tell me me this day. Um, to the point where it started becoming a lot easier. I didn't have to remind myself now. It, it just came. Um, but it, it's definitely something I had to work on because it just wasn't the most natural thing for me. Um, yeah. Mm, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> 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 when somebody doesn't depend on him while on my side I'm always trying to like show him like no I got you too so we depend on each other not that I depend on you alone so it always like starts from there where he doesn't see some things or maybe I'll react a certain way from what he's done then he would think that 
I'm not grateful or whatever. And on my side, I'm trying to show him, but then no, you don't have to be that person anymore. <laughs> uh, but and yeah I think even with physical intimacy I I mean like I really appreciate this, but, yeah. <laughs> but I I'm a, yeah let's sit down on the couch let's just chill and watch TV but I had to realize that um, in the way that he fulfills some of my needs that might be out of sort of his comfort zone as well i need to remember his as well and it's working i think it's still a work in progress as well um but it's definitely getting there <laughs> i think um i remember one time a friend of mine like she was like how do you like sex with girls i'm like i just do and then she's like well why don't no, she was asking me about, like, how we would have kids. And she said, well, why don't you just find a guy and then let him have sex with y'all so he can get his, too. And it's like, so we're t I'm talking about have, how I would have a kid with a woman, and you're talking about a guy getting a nut. It's like, it's crazy, but, like, people don't realize how centric that is ingrained and programmed into, at least into this Western society. Because, that, I mean, this is what the society I know, you know, so... It's like that it's always about pleasure for a guy. You know, something that ain't even got nothing to do with a guy is about pleasure for a guy. So, um, yeah, so, but I do like how um, she takes care of me. 